Welcome to Rick's Pokemon Soul Silver and Heart Gold Walkthrough Part 3. So, <clears throat> we have reached Cherry Grove City Town. Oh my gosh. Still haven't gotten used to that. So, once you get there and you've gotten the egg from Mr. Pokemon and all that, then you have to run over here and. Look who it is, the red boy who shoved me away from Professor Elm's lab. Want a battle, buddy? Alright, let's do this. So your rival, um, always has the Pokemon that's that you're weak against so in my case it's a Chikorita alright so this, since my Totodile is a level stronger than Chikorita this should be pretty easy Growls, kid. Why is he growling at me so much? Knock it off. I'm starting to become tempted to see if Water Gun will be of use to me, but maybe Leer will help us out here. Oh no you don't buddy. We are going to school you hard. In Pokemon Basics. This is harder than I thought it would be. I would use water gun, but I'm guessing that scratch is going to help us out more here. So yeah, I definitely recommend that you have your starter at least level 6. You can probably win at level 5, but level 6 makes things a little bit easier. Gives you a bit more of an advantage, you know. And that grew me up another level. Good luck with that. I already am the world's greatest Pokemon trainer, so suck it. So, yeah, apparently you stole his trainer card somehow. That's a little bit weird. So now you just have to run back, which doesn't take too much talent. You can take that apricorn, or apricorn. We never got that. Oops. Apricorns grow back every day, so I'll be able to get another one from that tree tomorrow. Alright, back into New Bark Town now. Go inside here. And there will be a police officer who is going to immediately think that you were the criminal who stole the one of the Pokemon because if you notice in the machine there is 
there was two Pokemon there when I left, and now there's only one, and Lyra did not take one, so who was the criminal? Well, it wasn't me, and Lyra is apparently backing me up. Yes, it was the red-haired boy. Alright, lucky for you, I did get his name, and it w is... Luke. So he's that police officer is just gonna wander off. He never catches him or anything, so it's not like it really is gonna make a difference. Then you gave the mystery egg to Professor Elm. And then he's going to recommend that you take the gym challenges, even if he hadn't said that, I was going to do it. Alright, I will talk to my mom. Sorry about that. Wow, you jumped to conclusions pretty quickly. How did you know that? Did you, like, read my mind? And then she's going to kind of be like a bank, basically, so she'll save some of your money. If you really need money later on, then I don't know. Just I recommend it because who knows what you if you'll need extra money later on and just, yeah. All right, now we run over here. And Lyra and her Meryl are just being weirdos. What are you guys hopping around for? Oh, you were battling. Yeah, it was way too fast. I thought you guys were just like skipping around. And then Lyra's gonna do the boring tutorial on how to catch a Pokemon, blah blah blah. So boring. And then she'll give you the Pokeballs so you can catch some Pokemon, and that is exactly what I'm gonna do. Perfect. That's right, my first Pokemon I'm going to have on my team is Lahudu. 
Very exciting. No nickname. I really don't have very good nicknames for a lot of these Pokemon. So then you just run back over to Cherry Grove City. And... Oh my gosh. So yeah, you just run back over to Cherry Grove City. I mean, Cherry Grove Town, oh my gosh, I'm so, that's really annoying me. So, then you just run all the way back to Cherry Grove Town, and that's where we will be starting my next walkthrough. See you then.